Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com Rampage. Boy, if you love Godzilla, if you love King Kong, then uh, this was probably a dream come true when you were a kid. And uh, when I first saw this, I actually uh, saw it at the laundromat, as a matter of fact. And so um, it was something that I was like, wow, is that King Kong? Is that Godzilla? Well, it was kind of, um, but it's basically a monster lover's dream. You get to play some of these uh, iconic characters. I mean, obviously they don't call them King Kong or Godzilla, but they're modeled after them. And it was just really, really fun to just smash buildings, to jump. and. The story behind it, well, I don't know if this is a story, but you're basically uh, people who got turned into these creatures, and you get to eat all these soldiers, which is kind of kind of violent, but it's kind of cool at the same time. And all of these uh, military people are trying to uh, destroy you, but at the same time, they're actually helping you as well, because the whole objective for each level is to destroy all these buildings and knock them down. And as you're eating people as well, you get additional points, as you can see. And this is a really, really uh, easy and fun game to pick up. Uh, there really wasn't much to it. And at the same time, whenever you played this with like uh, three characters, you could play with three characters total. I, I remember this in the arcade. It had a uh, three joysticks for each arcade uh, machine and it was really, really fun. Uh, me and my friends really enjoyed playing this a lot. And you know, even though in terms of the variety, there wasn't a huge amount of variety in terms of the type of gameplay. It was just fun to go through all these levels. And whenever you're smashing these down, it was just a really, really satisfying feeling. Oh man, yeah, check that out. And whenever you have multiplayer, you can actually uh, hurt your friends. Check it out. So that's little touches like that when you're eating people with a flamethrower, you actually breathe out fire. And there's dynamite right there. Oh man, and there were quite a few levels in this game, if I remember correctly. I think there was like more than 30 levels. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I love the character designs of this game. Yeah, and each level they go by day, it seems. And as you go further and further, there's more buildings, uh, there's more enemies, or, I would, or soldiers in this case. And they're really coming after you, and as you can see right here, there's way more soldiers in this level. And so, you know, you're definitely going to have to want a pocket full of quarters. And there's also other types of uh, vehicles like this. This is cool. <laughs> really nice touches here. And this is supposed to be like basically a New York City. So it's reminiscent of uh, King Kong. And wow, there's even like, uh, ooh, well, uh, she escaped. So, all right. And it can get pretty, pretty crazy. So uh, yeah, I think I just, yeah, there it is. So I turned back into a human. Um, that's kind of what happens when you lose all your energy. And that's really funny. All those nice little added touches. Lots of humor in this game. Okay, let's uh, see if I could continue on this. All right. <laughs> And there actually was uh, multiple sequels to this game. Um, there was definitely one in the arcade, but then it also came out on uh, the, I think it came out on the Super Nintendo, uh, the Genesis, and also there was a Nintendo 64 version as well that kind of used like 3D character models kind of. But to me, the original is still my favorite. You know, there was actually a Rampage, a World Tour, I think that was on the uh, Nintendo 64, if I'm not mistaken. It came out around the same time that Cruising USA came out. So whenever you eat those uh, soldiers with the flamethrower, you actually uh, lose energy. Yeah. Fun smashing. And maybe uh, I'll probably try passing this game in, in another uh, episode or something, because I've never actually pass this game check it out so more vehicles yeah and so if you hit things like electricity you get shocked as well so yeah so you get the point of this rampage a really fun monster destruction game um, if you were a kid you probably absolutely love this because of the whole uh, monster aspect of it but even as an adult it's just fun to just smash stuff as some of your favorite you know monster characters so if you have any thoughts on Rampage or any of the sequels, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. 
And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. All that information is in the description area below. Thanks for watching. See you in another episode. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.